the 6th of April, 1941. While hundreds of Luftwaffe fighters are dropping bombs on Belgrade in order to conquer Yugoslavia, Nazi Germany, under the codename Operation Marita, begins the simultaneous invasion of Greece. Hitler sees Greece as a potential threat to the southern flank of his planned attack on the Soviet Union and wants to secure crucial supply routes for German forces in the Balkans and southeastern Europe. The German 12th Army, commanded by Field Marshal Wilhelm List and supported by additional Italian and Bulgarian troops, conquers Greece in several weeks. Following the surrender, local partisans continue to fight against the Germans and their allies, who terrorize the local population and commit unspeakable crimes against civilians. One of the main perpetrators responsible for these atrocities is Karl Schirmers. Karl Schirmers was born on the 17th of October 1905 in Dusseldorf, then part of the German Empire. Schemers was 13 years old when the First World War ended, on the 11th of November 1918, and in the following years, he witnessed his country spiral into economic and political turmoil. The Treaty of Versailles in 1919 imposed heavy reparations, territorial losses, and severe military restrictions on Germany. This led to widespread economic hardship, including hyperinflation in the early 1920s, which wiped out savings and plunged millions into poverty. The Great Depression of 1929 further exacerbated the situation, causing massive unemployment and social unrest. Politically, the Weimar Republic, which was the name given to the German government from 1918 to 1933, struggled with instability. Frequent changes in government, extremist political factions, and a lack of strong leadership created a sense of disillusionment amongst the German people. Many Germans felt humiliated by the Treaty of Versailles and were angry at the perceived weakness of their leaders. Hitler's ability to tap into this widespread frustration, along with his charismatic rhetoric and propaganda, led many Germans to see him as a savior who could bring stability, national pride, economic recovery, and as Germany's only hope. On the 30th of January 1933, Adolf Hitler was appointed Chancellor of Germany by President Paul von Hindenburg. In April of the same year, Schirmers became a member of the Nazi Party, and for the rest of the 1930s, he worked as a police officer, steadily rising through the ranks in the regional police in Westphalia, reaching the rank of captain by 1939. The Second World War started on the 1st of September 1939, and on the same day, Schirmers joined the SS. In the early stages of the war, Germany made swift advances across Europe, leading to the fall of Poland, the invasion of France, and the evacuation of British forces from Dunkirk in 1940. As part of the Waffen-SS, which was the military branch of the SS, Schirmers participated with his unit in the French campaign, witnessing Germany conquer France in just six weeks. For his actions during this campaign, he was awarded the Iron Cross First Class in July 1940. Following the successful campaign in France, Hitler set his sights on the Soviet Union. However, before he could launch Operation Barbarossa, which was the code name for the invasion of the Soviet Union, he needed to secure the southern flank to ensure crucial supply routes and prevent any interference. Therefore, on the 6th of April 1941, Germany invaded Greece with rapid and coordinated assaults. The German 12th Army, consisting of around 680,000 troops and spearheaded by armored divisions, quickly overwhelmed Greek and British Commonwealth forces. Key locations such as Thessaloniki fell swiftly, and German paratroopers played a crucial role in securing strategic positions. By the 27th of April 1941, Athens had fallen, and mainland Greece was under Axis control. In April 1943, Schirmers was promoted to Lieutenant Colonel for his successful operations in the Soviet Union, making a significant step in his military career. This promotion set the stage for his transfer to Greece, where his brutal methods would soon leave a horrific mark. By April 1944, the war in Greece had intensified, and resistance from local partisans grew increasingly fierce. One such instance occurred in April 1944, when Greek partisans attacked a German military convoy near the village of Klaisora, located in northern Greece, and killed a vanguard of three motorcyclists. 
After discovering the mutilated bodies of three German soldiers near the local church, a German SS unit led by Karl Schirmers launched a brutal retaliatory attack on the village. On the 5th of April 1944, the soldiers broke into homes, shooting the occupants on sight, and set fire to the buildings. They also killed anyone they encountered in the streets. In total, 270 residents were massacred, the vast majority being women, children, and elderly people. Schirmers was later summoned by the German administration to explain the slaughter of civilians. He claimed that his soldiers were forced to kill the residents because rebel forces were hiding and firing from within the village. Despite contradictory statements from his subordinates, Schirmers was acquitted without facing further consequences for the massacre. Several weeks later, on the 24th of April 1944, Schirmers and his unit took part in another massacre, this time in the village of Pirgoi. As part of a large-scale extermination action against Greek partisans, German forces in cooperation with Greek collaborators entered the village and completely destroyed it. Most of the women, children and elderly were driven into barns and burnt alive. A total of 368 people died during the massacre, making it the second largest massacre the Nazis committed in Greece during the Second World War. On the 10th of June 1944, Schirmer's unit was involved in one of the most heinous crimes the Nazis committed against innocent women and children in Greece. This atrocity was triggered after German troops had been ambushed by Greek partisans near the village of Steri, located in central Greece. During the ambush, approximately 40 German soldiers were killed, fueling the Nazis' desire for revenge. Enraged by the losses, the Nazis turned their fury toward the nearby village of Distomo, located only five kilometers from Steri. Upon entering Distomo, the Germans were determined to exact brutal revenge and began their rampage by indiscriminately shooting anyone in their path, mercilessly targeting men, women, and children alike. The violence escalated as they stormed houses, dragging women out to be brutally raped, stabbed, and then killed. Children were shot at point-blank range, and infants were gruesomely bayoneted or dismembered. The local priest, a symbol of hope and faith for the villagers, was beheaded in a final act of barbarity. By the end of the massacre, 228 villagers had been slaughtered, 117 women, 111 men, and among them, 53 children. The Nazi soldiers, consumed by savage bloodlust, then set the village ablaze, burning Distomo to the ground. The horror, however, did not end there. As the Germans retreated to their base, they continued their killing spree, executing any civilians they encountered along the way. The terror of the Distomo massacre was later documented by the International Red Cross, who arrived in Distomo a few days later and reported that approximately 600 people were killed in the wider region as a result of this horrific act of vengeance. Several days later, on the 17th of June 1944, Schemers ordered the execution of 28 civilians and the destruction of the village of Ipati in central Greece. The next day, he commanded the burning of the nearby village of Sperchiada, where 35 civilians were killed. Weeks later, after being appointed commander of the 4th SS Grenadier Division, Schemers' men participated in Operation Echidna, also known as Operation Kreuzotter. This operation was a failed attempt to destroy the bases of the Greek People's Liberation Army, the military arm of the Communist Party of Greece. The operation resulted in the deaths of about 170 civilians and the partial or complete destruction of dozens of villages and small towns. Despite the crimes committed against the Greek people, Karl Schemers never faced trial or justice. He was 38 years old when on the 18th of August 1944, he was killed in Arta, northwestern Greece, after his car had hit a mine during a clearing operation in the area. Five days later, on the 23rd of August, he was posthumously awarded the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross by Nazi Germany in recognition of his exceptional bravery in battle and successful leadership. In October 1944, after years of harsh Nazi occupation, Greece was finally liberated. The German forces began their retreat in the fall as Allied troops and Greek resistance fighters advanced, culminating in the liberation of Athens by the end of October. 
The occupation had left Greece in ruins, with its infrastructure destroyed and economy crippled. Approximately 350,000 Greeks lost their lives, and over 60,000 Greek Jews were murdered in Nazi concentration camps. However, between 8 and 10,000 Greek Jews managed to survive the Holocaust. Their survival was largely due to the brave resistance of the Greek people and the leaders of the Greek Orthodox Church, who refused to cooperate with Nazi efforts to deport the Jewish population. Even decades after the end of the Second World War, tensions between Greece and Germany remain significant. The damage and atrocities committed by Nazis have left deep scars, leading Greece to demand over $300 billion in war reparations from Germany. These historical grievances are so profound that some German politicians are still depicted in Greek media wearing Nazi uniforms today. Whether reparations will ever be paid remains to be seen, but the atrocities committed by people like Karl Schemers should not be forgotten, so that such horrors are never repeated again. There were no tears shed for Karl Schemers. Thanks for watching the World History Channel. Be sure to like and subscribe, and click the bell notification icon so you don't miss our next episodes. We thank you, and we'll see you next time on the channel.